you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Good morning. God bless you. And I welcome you to this beautiful Tuesday morning. By the grace of God, the 26th day of March, 2024. God has been so good. I'm looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 15 this morning and verse 10. The Bible says, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Now looking at the account of Paul the Apostle, that we have known very well that he was the only one that wrote about half of the New Testament. Although some scholars mention that the book of Hebrew is not uh, to be an unknown writer, but again, uh, uh, to me, to my estimation, to my my opinion, I think Paul wrote most of the book of Hebrews. So if you use, if you combine that book with every other book, you discover that this man wrote almost half of the New Testament. Who was this individual? He wasn't there with Jesus at the beginning. In fact, according to theologians, before someone can become an apostle of Christ, you have to be within that time period that Christ was here. Either you are appointed by Christ or selected by Christ, or one way or the other, you have a connection with him physically while he was here. But we knew very well that the Paul the Apostle wasn't close by, but his own apostleship was divine. His own apostleship was supernatural. When Judas was taken out of the sin due to his error, a man was used to fill the gap. But along the line, the man wasn't effective. Aside from the first time they mentioned his name, it wasn't effective. So I believe that that vacuum was created for Paul to come. When Paul eventually came, he outshined, outran, and did most of the work. In fact, the time came that Peter said, listen, we are giving you the right hand of fellowship to go and minister to the Gentile world. So he came late, but he yet became the latest. He came late, and yet became the super. He came late, and yet became the one in town. What am I drawing out of this today? In all of this, Paul the Apostle had one summary, one word to summarize all of this achievement. He said, I am what I am by the grace of God. In fact, in another episode, he said to them, among the Pharisees, I'm one of the chiefs. Among the people that study, I'm one of the best. He said, but I count everything but dung for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. See, everything I've achieved that naturally, if Paul is standing among the graduates, Peter should not come near. But yet we could see Paul, anytime he receives any revelation, before he will carry it out as a doctrine, he will go and submit it before Peter and the elders. And say, this is what I've received, what are you saying, sir? After the endorsement, before we now carry the message out to the world. And at the end of his life, he said, Everything I was, I am, is by the grace of God. Can I stop to address everyone hearing my voice? You are hearing me this morning, and it's all about you know who I am. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I am a graduate. I have my PhD. Excuse me, sir. The man I was speaking here. He marks everything as far as achievement is concerned. But yet he said, it is all by the grace of God. Maybe you are hearing me, you are taking pride in your beauty. You are taking pride in your shape. You are taking pride in your, in your, in your Queen's English, your American English. You are taking pride in the fact that you are a citizen or you are a green card holder. You are taking pride in the, in the fact that you are an engineer, you are a doctor. Or you are taking pride in the fact that, you know, you have something that others don't have. You are rich. You have money. You are driving the best car. You live in the best house. I want you to know one day and one time will come that all of these things will not matter. Paul knew so well. And in advance, he began to cry out that whatever I am today, it is by your grace. Yes, sir. 
Whatever you are today is by the grace of God. That you are able to drive today is by the grace of God. That you own a house today is by the grace of God. That you are beautiful, young lady, ah, it is by the grace of God. That you are married, it is by the grace of God. That you have children, not because you are menstruating, because there are so many menstruating fellows, and yet can never get pregnant. It is by the grace and the mercy of the Lord. No wonder this man remained humble. Hallelujah. Even though he was illiterate among most of the illiterate apostles, yet he would go and submit his findings to Peter. Upon endorsement, that's when he started distributing it. No wonder the Bible says, give it more grace to the humble. So everyone that recognized grace as the doer of everything good happening in your life, I beg you, please be humble. Don't look down on people. Don't march on people's head. Because somebody that is a nobody today can become somebody tomorrow. Hallelujah. See, everything you have, everything you own, whatever you are now, whatever you are going to become tomorrow, that it is all by the grace and the mercy of the Lord. And I pray that as you meditate on this, the Lord will keep and bless you, sustain you, cause his face to shine on you. Be gracious and be merciful unto you. May the Lord teach your heart to be humble, not what you know about humility. May the Holy Spirit teach your heart to be simple and to be humble. In the name of Jesus, now be blessed, be favored, be empowered, be enabled, be stabilized and be strengthened. Be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Now find favor with God and man today. No evil shall befall you. You will go out in peace and return back blessed. I cover and I seal everyone hearing my voice with the blood of Jesus Christ. You are blessed, you are sustained and you are highly favored. In Jesus, most precious and most perfect name of prayer. Amen and amen and amen. Good morning once again and thank you for being part of this morning devotion. Please share with others. And remain blessed, Maranatha.